Hello there and welcome back to Silent Hill 4 The Room. When we left off, we just about got a key for Eileen's place. The uh, neighbour we can see through the people. We are about to go back through the wall and check her door. Um, granted, I still have these keys. Uh, I don't know if I need to just put them away or not, so we're going to keep all of them for now, I guess. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We have to put them in the chest, maybe? I will check the map when we get in there, though, just to make sure. I keep forgetting about this bloody mess in my bathroom. <laughs> okay, let's go through this hole. But yeah, I'm going to check the map and then make sure that there's nowhere else to potentially check. And then we're going to check Eileen's room. Um, just in case it takes us out of the area, that's all. Right. Let me in. There's a ghost in this room immediately, I need to remember that. But it's okay, we can check. Right, okay. So obviously our room is locked. Eileen's room's locked. Uh, room 304. Any room that's inside the rooms is potentially locked. It looks like we've been everywhere. It's weird that it hasn't taken the key for the last door, though. Because usually when you've used the keys, it'll just uh, disappear into oblivion. Right, okay. So I guess we're just going into Eileen's room. And then I'll have to box up the keys as when to the time comes. <coughs> Does not sound good. Okay, damn, he's got to her already. That's the 20th victim. What's that say? I think it does. Thanks. Did you find your mommy? This place? It's dangerous. You need to hurry. Get out of here. Oh dear. I think she has a connection with the kid slash the man because of the the doll that we've been given. Right, okay. What's going on out there? Something's happening. Oh, it's the ambulances again. Okay, so she is done for. Right, okay, so that doesn't move around again. Should we check the windows? I'm guessing that's probably what it wants us to do. Oh god, it is as well, look. Eileen. Well, okay. What now, then? Because now we can't even check on our neighbor unless there's something in her room now. We're going to go and have to peek, aren't we? I hate peeking in the room. It makes me feel like a right creeper. <laughs> right, okay. And now we can see, on our own terms... I thought, just by chance, that that guy might be back looking. Right, okay. Nothing. Right, so... Question is... What now? What is that on the wall there? Photos of me when I was a kid. When I graduated, nothing very interested. What is that? What's this? Good question. 
question that remains unanswered, clearly. Oh, we've got stuff under the door. I thought that was it for notes, to be honest. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. I don't think I can protect myself. He's truly insane. I can't hold on any longer. His power can't be measured. I was so scared today that I sealed off the back of the storage room. I wonder if Eileen Galvin, her second name is Galvin, is okay. She had no idea what's going on. But she's in danger nevertheless. She's in danger. So is she dead or not? I don't understand. Um, there's some kind of strange paper stuck in here. Will you take it? Yes. The succubus talisman. Card with some kind of frightening demon on it. Okay. Well, there's a frightening demon on my wall over there. Um, these shoes, are they really mine? You said you bought them in Silent Hill. Are we losing it? I feel like we're losing it. I don't know why I keep checking the, um, the, what's it, the, blah, 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 the thing out, the wall thing. You know what I mean. Um, right, okay. What's the deal here? Has this been sealed up? The hole's blocked. How? It's been getting steadily bigger and then all of a sudden it's just not opening. Uh, peephole. That's the only thing we haven't actually checked, I think. Both peepholes. Right. Is there an extra handprint there? It kind of looks like there is, but it's faded. Hmm. Hard to say. Right, there's nothing new there, though. Right. Is there... So we're getting black mould on our floor there, too. Disgusting. Right. So they took the victim to St. Jerome's, huh? Yeah, she's not gonna make it. She had numbers in her back, too. Walter Sullivan copycat. Round three, huh? Well, they never got the scumbag behind round two a few years back. Maybe it's the same guy. Oh, what if one, two, and three? Oh, what if they're all the same guy? What the hell are you talking about? You know Sullivan killed himself. The weird thing is, there were no clues scenes were always spotless. No fingerprints, no fibers, nothing. Just the numbers. Two, zero, one, two, one. I've been a cop for a long time, but I never seen a case like this one. It's almost like, like they were killed by a ghost or something. I don't like the way the rabbit's pointing at me. <laughs> Okay. I mean, technically, they could have been killed by a ghost. We've seen plenty of ghosts. And they've nearly killed me multiple times. Um, right, okay. So, now what? Um, have we still got the keys? We do. I'm going to put them away. I have a feeling we're not going to need them just yet. We might need them later down the line, potentially. But not just yet. Um, old doll given to me by the man sitting in the apartment stairwell. Right, okay. I don't know what that's for still. There was one that was similar on the keys, though. It's still dirty as all hell. Has that gotten worse? No, it's the same. There's some kind of weird mark here, too. It's some kind of stain. Come to think of it, I think it also... Does it? It looks like some kind of evil demon. I don't know about that. Does it let me do anything with it? Evil demon. Um, what about the card that we picked up? Has that got anything to do with it? I don't think we can use it on it, can we? Oh, I think I'm pressing the wrong button, actually. I think it's like a square situation. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. Um, use the succubus talisman. Okay, so that was effective. Interesting. This is where the plates go. You can tell, because that's the design on one of them already. Interesting. Right, let's read this thing. 
What the hell? After he did the ritual of the Holy Assumption. Other worlds began to force their way into his universe and it began to swell horribly. But his universe is different than ours. It has limits. And in the limits of that universe, he rules as a king. And in the deepest part of his kingdom is his mother. Okay. Right, so we're going to have to get those things. So if we can open that one, we should have tried that with the other thing before we got rid of it. This is where the face was, wasn't it? That's so weird. Stuff is... It might, it, I'm pretty sure the apartment's looking slowly more and more like it did when we first woke up, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't think we need the weapons. Uh, we need these things. One, two, three, four. Can be equipped along with a weapon. Anti-spirit effects when held. But will eventually break. I don't know what they're useful for. There's so many things that I've got that I, it's just like... Okay. Right, okay. So I know we can put this one down here. That matches. Chaos. Um... I do believe that one's there. This one's that one. That's the succubus placard. The succubus card. <laughs> I just realised that would have been, that would have hinted maybe. So we've got a new hole. Doesn't that lead straight into the bathroom though? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Uh, right, okay. It doesn't lead into the bathroom. This is uh, bizarre. I mean, one hole's been good enough. Why, <laughs> why make a new one? Why? Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to crawl through it. We have had to do that. Like, so should I save it first? I might chuck a quick save in, just so we, because we've like. Just uncovered a massive thing. Right, okay, so let's go through. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe I might I might take another set of bullets. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to take with me. What I need and what I don't need is concerning me. It's kind of tempted to take the revolver. Not much stopping power. So maybe if I put that away. The thing is, I don't know if they're the same bullet type. We'll t we'll take that and we'll see, I guess. Right. Through the hole we go. Stop whispering at me, you. The hole. Where will it lead this time? Eileen. I wonder if she's okay. She looked pretty dead to me, my friend. Henry, I think your uh, hopes are too high. It didn't look that much different this time, I don't think. Still got the scary demons in the loading screens, though. Not a fan. We're in the dentists, or potentially a hospital. Creepy. Are we running away from this guy? Does he chase me or? I kind of would like to know what he was digging around for just then. There's bugs everywhere. And they are going to immediately get up. Right, okay. What is going on here?
So she's alive? Question mark. See, the attachment's a bit bizarre, I think, simply because he's never really spoken to her before, as far as I'm aware. These be Eileen's pictures. It certainly looks that way, mate. It certainly... Ooh. There's lots of forms with the name St. Jerome's Hospital on them. St. Jerome's Hospital. That's not too far from my apartment. God damn it. That's always a bad sign. Note. I lost Eileen Galvin's hospital room key. Typical. She was a patient brought in with severe injuries. I wonder if I left it in one of the other hospital rooms. I really hope not. Maybe that's what he's looking for. Because he's going to need to finish his job, surely. What is that? That looks like a box cutter. It's a paper cutting knife. Uh, it's a weapon, apparently. It's hard to use as a weapon, I would imagine. Is it powerful, though, did it say? Uh, there's no way of me reading that again, I don't think. Right, okay. Any other goodies? There are all sorts of medical things, but I wouldn't know what to do with them. Okay. Right, so I think this leads back out into the hallway. There is nothing we've missed, is there? Notes are incredibly handy sometimes. Though this doesn't seem to be as puzzly as some of the other games. Which is good and bad. I cannot see. <laughs> right, okay. Dodgy camera angles. Oh my! They're everywhere. Uh, it's a bed with wheels. They must have move. They must move patients with this. Wonder if Eileen is in this room. Well, she's clearly not. Otherwise, I'd be able to see her, wouldn't we? Is that a drink of healthy variety? Nutrition's. I think so. I think we might need it here. There's a lot of monsters. I might have to take some of these out. Because these are going to get me every time. Right, one. Right, that's three. Well, it's technically four. Right, we'll stomp these before that one gets back up. Take that! Right, then we're not going to suffer any problems in this room, providing they're all dead. Right, so is this the one the Walt monster was in? Um, that is not the same guy, I don't think. I don't know what that was, but it was kind of scary. Right, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to beat it to death. Or I'm going to attempt to. Hello? It burps. <laughs> Why does it burp? It's still moving. Are you dead? Uh, it's the operating table. There's blood stained all over on top of something. I don't even want to imagine what is under the cover. Yeah, me either. Is this not where... There's a strange human-shaped object. Is that a saw on the other side? Can I actually get that, maybe? It's a bloody operating table. That guy. What in God's name was he doing here? The body is also gone. So this is where he was. There's a strange... Yeah, we can't... I don't think we can take the saw. Um, is there anything actually in here? This might have been kind of pointless. This leads outside again. Okay. The more stuff we take out, the better. It makes it an easier time for me. So I think it's a good idea to do the damage as and when we can. 
I mean, I think we got hit once in that whole ordeal, so... Right, okay, so we can go through potentially this door, but there is also... That could lead to another whole entire corridor of possibilities. Uh, there is a door to my left. I'm expecting monsters. Always there's a hole. Right, okay, that's good to know. Very good to know. Hello. Now we'll check it. <laughs> What's a woman's handbag doing here? Must be Eileen's. Eileen's bag. Eileen only weapon. Eileen's handbag looks like it could do a little bit of damage. Random. Medikit. It's a baby's medical chart. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we are going to be full soon. I'm pretty sure it's just a full line, isn't it? It's uh, got to be careful what we're carrying. I may have to take that hole back and drop some stuff. I don't know if I should put the doll in the box or if we're going to need it. It's not really much of an explanation behind it, is there? Hello. The burpees times two. Right, that could be dangerous. Um, <laughs> but I need to see what's in there at some point. Uh. Right, there's another door. Here. This looks like a stairwell. Right. None of my concern just yet. It's an elevator. But the door or button is broken. And it's not responding. Okay. Right, so what do we have at the end here then? That's bus two. Right, okay, that narrows things down. We're going to have to go into that supply room and try and work a miracle on those two horrible things. Um, and then after that, we're going up the stairwell, clearly. But I might have to drop some stuff off first because we are running out of space, clearly. I think it's this one. Right, burps. Hello, I see you both. <coughs> Ow. Okay, the damage... <coughs> It's real. Listen, sir. All matter, but I actually don't have a clue. This is not good. This is not good at all. Yeah, you're getting double stumped. <laughs> I am not letting you get back up. Your burping kind of grosses me out. What is that? Ample. Nice. We are full now, though. We've got to be. That's good for a full heal, I think. So that's good. Well, at least it used to be. I don't know how it works with this health bar. Right, so we're going to have to go back to the apartment to at least drop some stuff off. And maybe heal up a little bit. Right. So the whole buzz in this one here on my right now. Interesting. So we climb through. Right. So big burpy monsters, dangerous, unless they're on one on one really. If there's multiple, it might be worth using a gun. Right, what do we have here? This seems to be getting scarier every time we're getting back at the moment, so I am a little bit worried. Right, okay. So we can check check stuff. Right, let's see what's outside. Just in case anything's changed here. It's night time now. <clears throat> I don't think we can't see the uh hospital from our building, but he said it wasn't far. Whatever that means. Right. 
I'm still expecting something to be, uh, waiting. That thing on the wall is concerning me. I don't know what it is, man. I mean, it could be a hole, to be honest. Forming. Right. Um, I'm going to put box cutter away, because I don't know if it's going to be super useful. I'm going to... Put two healing away. I'm going to... Uh, should I? I don't know if I need it. I'm going to put that away for a second. But it's an Eileen only weapon, so that implies that we're going to get her back, and she's going to be able to use it. But I could just give her the other gun, potentially, if she can use any weapon. But if she can only use the pistol, then we're stuck, aren't we? Um... But then again, if we have to give ammo up as well, that's a pain in the bum, isn't it? I might... I'm going to put one set of bullets away. And I'm going to leave it like that. Right, okay. I feel like carrying this shabby doll everywhere is going to be a, a pain in the butt. Right, I'm going to check outside. Nothing. Okay. Fine by me. Right, I guess we go. Yeah, the whispering isn't nice. It's not nice at all. If I had a big whispery hole in my closet, I wouldn't be very happy. Especially if I couldn't leave the apartments as well. Right, so up the stairs we go. That is the deal. We've exterminated all of the monsters on this floor. At the moment, at least. Maybe I should have saved them when I had the chance, but... We will hold fire for a second. Oh my god, I can move them around, actually. I never even noticed that before. Uh, was the stairwell at the end? It was. Right, so we can't use the lift, but we can. Use the trusty stairs. I like that. Right, so yeah, we've kept the nutrition drink just in case, because they do a ton of damage. What? Why is the wheelchairs here? I can't move fast in this room. Bullets. Cool. They spilled super glue all over the floor though, and that I'm not, you know, too keen on, really. They are, like, possessed, because we get the ghost effect when they come close. It's a key. Take the hospital room key. Can we put the key back? Put the key back on there? It's locked. Um, We don't have a fake key to put on there, so... I can't use that here. What does one do? Hmm. I guess we're just trapped. Well, that's the end, guys. <laughs> that is the end. No, no, I, um, I genuinely don't know what to do now. It's not like the other one where you could just check. Uh, oh, we have to use the key to actually get out of it. Okay. <laughs> Bizarre. Right, so now we have a hospital room key. So I'm guessing that's going to help us. Uh, oh, it's probably the key to the island room. Whichever one that is. It could be any of them. Why are they all so sludgy, though? There's a horrible smell coming from inside the broken glass. There is a golf club on the floor, but I'm not even going to pick it up. I don't see the point. I can see someone on the other side of the wire net. But they're not moving. Is that a dead body? Could well be. It looks like the place. They, they would uh, have a few of them, at least. Sounds like a lot of bugs.
I'm gonna watch out for these wheelchairs. They're gonna hit me like a speeding train if I'm not careful. Get off that man. Tendrils of doom. It's a man's dead body. That was a waste of my time and energy. At least they kind of stay away from the room when you're leaving, which is nice. This looks like incubators or, you know, like... Things you could put your arms in to mix harmful chemicals, potentially. This long thing. What the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord? There does seem like a lot of umbilical cord situations going on here. Okay, there's nothing to examine, though. Very confusing. Um... Right, so we can only keep going forward. That's uh, a lot of pills right there. This is giving me so many pistol bullets for some reason. It's some kind of skin. It smells horrible. There's something stuck in it. Around the middle of the skin, there's still some meat attached on the inside. Um, there are all sorts of medicines, but I don't know what any of them are. Nothing else. That was very detailed. Uh, I don't know what the hanging bottles are all about, though. Right. Wilted flowers? Dried up flowers. I wonder if there's anything we can get to... What is this? The holy candle? What the heck is that? A special candle with anti-spirit effects begins working shortly after being lit and placed down. Okay. I have got room for one more item. Ah. Okay. Hi, guys. You never know when you need to access what these guys are blocking, so... It's wet from rain. Maybe I can't reach that last guy. Right, uh, straight on. Hmm, this looks odd. What the hell? I can see legs coming out from the bottom of the cloth. That's actually pretty horrible. There's another, like pot of plants there as well. Or like a vase for flowers which seem to be all over the bed behind. Right. We're going to call it quits in this room. <laughs> um, because I'm going to save points at the moment. And I forgot to save before. So I'm going to run and then meet you back here. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. So far, we've been wandering around a hospital aimlessly. But hopefully we'll find results in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this, like and subscribe. Think about clicking that bell icon if you want future episodes as and when they come out. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.